Basic Math, Chapter 6, Section 2, Divisibility Tests for 3, 6, and 9. You can use divisibility tests to quickly see if numbers are divisible by 3, 6, or 9. Divisible by 3. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the three digits is also divisible by 3. And what is a sum? It is addition. So the answer to the addition problem. So let's try 471 has a 4 plus 7 plus 1 and that would equal 12. Now let's see if it's divisible by 3 by dividing that sum of the digits by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4 with nothing left over, no remainder. So 471 is divisible by 3. So that's a trick to do it quickly. Divisible by 6. A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. So that's the trick for finding if you can divide it by 6. So it is divisible by 2 if it's an even number. It's divisible by 3 if you add up all the digits and divide them by 3 with no remainder. Something is also even if you can divide it by 2 with no remainder. So 108 divided by 2 is 54, no remainder. So it is divisible by 2. 108 divis divided by 3 is 36. You can also use the trick 1 plus 8. There's the 0, but that's not going to add anything to that. So it's 9. And 9 divided... Oops. I wrote that one backwards. Nine divided by three is three. So we can also divide it by three. So 108 is divisible by six and it's divisible by two and three. That's how you know if something is divisible by six because it's both divisible by two and three. How do you know if something's divisible by nine? A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is also divisible by 9. So just like note 3, if you add up the digits and you can divide those by 9 with nothing left over, then the whole number is divisible by 9. Let's see what we mean. Five hundred thirteen is five plus one plus three, that's nine. Nine divided by nine is one. You can fit one nine and nine and there's nothing left over. So five hundred and thirteen is divisible by nine. Now we've got some examples for each. Is two hundred and fifty-five divisible by six? Well let's find the sum of the digits. 2 plus 5 plus 5 is 12. Is 12 divisible by 3? Yes. You get 4 3s in 12 with no remainder. Is 255 divisible by 2? No. It's not even. So the number 255 is not divisible by 6 because it has to be both divisible by 3 and by 2. Example 2, is 7,431 divisible by 3 or 9? So step 1, find the sum of the digits. 7 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 is 15. Step 2, is 15 divisible by 3? Yes, 15 divided by 3 is 5, no remainder. Is 15 also divisible by 9? No, because 15 divided by 9 is 1 remainder 6. So 
So the number 7,431 is divisible by 3, but not by 9. All right, so let's take a look at practice A. Tell if each number is divisible by 6. You can just write yes or no. And if a number is divisible by 6, if it is divisible by both 2 and 3, and a number is divisible by 3, if you add up all the digits and can divide by 3 with nothing left over. so has to be even and the sum of the digits need to be divided by 3. So we can go through the ones that are odd and say no because it has to be even and the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. So even and divisible by 3. That's not even because that's a 3. 2 is even, so that we can come back to that. 3 is not even, so we can just eliminate the ones that are not even. 4 ends in a 0, that's even. 5 ends in a 2, that's even. 6 ends in an 8, that's even. 7 ends in a 5, that's not even. 8 ends in a 0, that's even. 9 ends in a 4, that's even. Same thing for 10. Okay, so, oops, forgot that, 0. So, now we need to see if the remaining things are divisible by 3, because all the things left are already even, because all even numbers are divisible by 2. So we're halfway there for those. Now we see about adding up 6 plus 6, that's 12. 12 divided by 3 equals 4, so yes. That is divisible by 6. Now, 5 plus 9 plus 4 is going to be 18. Now, 18 divided by 3 equals 6, so yes. That is also divisible by 6. And now number 5. 5 plus 6 plus 2. 8, 13. 13 divided by 3 would be 4 remainder 1. So no. We can't have a remainder with our division of 3. So that's not divisible by 3. Therefore, it's not divisible by 6. One more. 7 plus 4 plus 5 plus 8. So 7 and 4 is 11. 5 and 8 is 13. 13 plus 11 is 24. Divide that by 3, and that equals 8. That works. So yes, that's divisible by 2, 3. Therefore, it is also divisible by 6. Let's look at practice B. Tell if each number is divisible by 3, 9, or both. Write 3, 9, or both 3 and 9. Tell if it's divisible by 3, add them up, and divide by 3. Let's do some more space. We'll start with 15. 
So 6 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6. It's going to be 18. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. 18 divided by 9 equals 2. So yes for 3 and yes for 9. So we can write both numbers there. Let's try one more. We can add up the 2, 5, 8, 1, 2, 9. We can add them up by 2s to help. So 7, 9, and 11. And then we can add those up. 7 plus 9 is 16. 16 plus 11 is 27. Now, is 27 divisible by 3? Yep, 9 times. 27 divided by 9? 3 times. So, 25 is also divisible by 3 and 9. So that's how we can do those. If you'd like to practice more, you can pause the video and work some of those problems out on paper. Add up the digits. Divide them by 3. If there's no remainder, then it is divisible by 3. And then try to divide that sum by 9 and see if there's no remainder to tell if it's divisible by 9 as well. Some everyday problem solving. Elise makes jewelry for craft fairs. She uses the chart for beads she needs. When she orders, she does not want to have any beads left over. Elise needs 183 dozen black beads. What size box could she order? So if she ordered small boxes, they come with three dozens. Medium boxes come with six dozens. Large boxes come in nine dozens. So which ones would we want if we are finding if we want it? Everything is in dozens. So 183 dozen, or three dozens per box, or six dozens per box. We don't have to worry about the dozens since everything's in dozens. We can just see if it's divisible by three, six, or nine. So 183, well, it ends in a three, so it's not even. Therefore, it is not divisible by six. If we add one, eight, and three, that gives us 12. We can divide 12 by 3 four times. If we divide 12 by 9, we get 1 with a remainder of 3. So it's not divisible by 9. It is divisible by 3. So we could get the small boxes to get nothing left over. So that's the idea for that one. So number two, same thing. It 249 does not end in an even number, so it's not divisible by six. We add up the digits of two, four, and nine, and that would be 15. 15 divided by three equals five. 15 divided by 9 equals 1, remainder 6. So, small box again. We could put small for 1 and small for 3. So that's how we can do those problems. Feel free to do the last two if you'd like. 
and then take a look at your workbook for chapter six, section two, for some more practice. And please let me know if you have any questions or want to work out some more of these practices together. Thank you.